What's up guys? It's Chad with Living the Van Life out here in uh, Seattle, Washington where it's a uh, chilly 28 degrees out here doing some time lapse. This is night two of the uh, time lapse project for those of you that are following around, along. It's also uh, Thursday, December 5th, 2013 just to put a uh, uh, time stamp on this uh, here video and I apologize if you can't see me if I'm like off camera I'm trying to keep this thing pointed uh, in my direction but I got this really bright light shining in my face it's hard to uh, tell where the camera is pointing but uh, I am parked up above uh, I-5 uh, here in nearly downtown Seattle I'm shooting this epic cityscape a time lapse of the freeway and the traffic going by and uh, I'm going to take you over and uh, show you where uh, my camera's set up and the view that I've got here. It's pretty epic. Here we are above I-5. The camera is set up here, just clicking photos away, one after another. I'm set up at a uh, three-second interval capturing this traffic. Up in the sky, there's uh, some clouds moving through the city. And you can see the uh, cool traffic scene <laughs> moving up and down I-5 here. Over here to the right, we've got Lake Union. Just a beautiful panoramic view of uh, the scene going on here. So I'm just hanging out, shooting some time lapse. So one of the questions that I've had uh, recently in the comment section of the uh, channel here was uh, somebody asking about uh, security and what I do for security in the van um, and I think that's a huge part of uh, the stealth camping that's a very good question uh, with being down here in Seattle it's definitely something you think about uh, my hometown uh, about two hours north of here is pretty quiet and for the most part you don't have to really worry about uh, the security of yourself uh, you know, hanging out in the van around that particular town. Getting here down here into Seattle, of course, there's greater concern. There's more people. Uh, people are, you know, in dire need down here, being homeless, and it's cold, and, you know, it's the big city. Just a lot of crime happens down here in big cities and stuff. So it's definitely something uh, to be concerned about. And the tips that I have as far as being secure in your van and being safe uh, really comes into play again with the stealth camping. Um, one thing that I would suggest is uh, find a, a high-end neighborhood. Um, if you are in somewhat of a late model vehicle, one that's clean and upkept, uh, you shouldn't have a problem getting into a higher-end neighborhood and blending in. I definitely wouldn't recommend uh, taking your 1962 Winnebago with all your belongings tarped off on top and trailers uh, being towed behind and um, you know all that stuff and trying to fit into a high-end neighborhood but uh, and not that my van is high-end by any means but uh, around the northwest there's uh, lots and lots of uh, Westies so it's not uncommon to see these parked in any neighborhood and so um, keep yourself out of the bad areas uh, especially if you're going to be sleeping overnight Find yourself a nice neighborhood. Typically, those nice neighborhoods uh, have nice views, just as the one that I uh, showed you here. The particular neighborhood I'm in right now is definitely, definitely high end. Um, it's cool to sit here and look at all the houses and enjoy the view that they've got. Um, so, less crime in those high end neighborhoods. Um, they're usually pretty quiet. I would keep myself out of the uh, the bad areas you know just watch your back at all times as far as security in the van I've got my tinted windows I've got the curtains I keep a stealthy uh, outlook while I'm inside the van um, you know one thing I would suggest is uh, getting a concealed weapons permit and carry yourself uh, some sort of a weapon on board with you and definitely while you're in the van know where those are at at all times you also want to keep them safe um, but know where those weapons are at and you know self self defense because um, you never know when you could possibly need that and part of living the van life is always being prepared 
uh, you know, have it handy close by when you're spending time in the van. Just be watching your back. Um, I keep my doors locked. Uh, like I said, keep a low profile. I keep all of my equipment, all my camera equipment uh, out of view. Um, that way somebody walking by doesn't happen to, you know, notice my camera sitting on my dash. Um, that will also help prevent, uh, help prevent uh, any sort of, you know, possible break-in. But really, I think the best defense method is being stealth. You know, um, blending in with other people. If you're parked in a row of 100 cars and there's Lexuses and Audis and all SUVs and all sorts of other stuff, uh, you're a little bit less likely to get picked on in there because there's uh, higher end stuff. So that's my two cents worth in it. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that's good information. Um, that's kind of what I run by and I haven't had any issues. Um, knock on wood. I haven't had any issues with any sort of break in. I never have anybody come up to the van. Um, I never have any sort of confrontation like that. So hopefully that information helps. I hope everybody's doing good out there. It's a cold night hanging out here in the van while my camera is out there taking time lapse. In fact, my timer just went off. That's why the video paused right in the middle. But uh, my timer went off, which means it's time for me to go out, get my camera. Then I'm going to hit a couple other destinations. It's uh, 28 degrees right now. Uh, got a nice down parka on from my good buddy Brad, who uh, stayed in tonight. Um, we were up until about 3 o'clock in the morning uh, working doing uh, time lapse and stuff like that so Brad stayed in to get some rest and uh, I'm out doing it so okay guys hope everybody's doing out there peace out keep on trucking if I can turn off the video somewhere off button goodbye